So I just want to read you some facts about this um, uh, Appalachian school shooter named 14-year-old uh, boy called Colt Gray and the mayhem that he unleashed on that school in the past few hours. I've done a reading already. It should be up on this channel. I'm not sure. And I'm also going to do one for um, my main channel as well. Um, but... Appalachian school shooter named as Colt Gray, 14 years old. Um, a suspect is in custody, so he is alive, okay? Um, he was apprehended after a shooting at the Appalachian High School in Georgia, okay? On Friday mor morning, or morning, www.celestotowerreadings.com. I do a lot of psychic tarot readings on criminal cases and I have been for many years okay there's a product there on my if you click shop on my website you'll see that there is a product there okay at least four people were reported dead and 30 injured in the tragedy local hospitals have started admitting victims suffering from gunshot injuries so four people dead and 30 injured four people dead and 30 injured four people dead and 30 injured the Appalachian High School um, is where this took place in Georgia, in the state of Georgia, which is in the southern part of the United States. The Georgia school was plunged into chaos as the shooter went on a rampage through the school, located in Barra County. Multiple emergency service squads, including a host of ambulances, numerous officers and a medical helicopter rushed to the scene. A medical helicopter was deployed airlifting individuals who appeared to be gravely wounded. Victims of the shooting with various injuries began arriving at local hospitals shortly after the incident. According to CNN, and I'm reading this from the Irish Star, okay, by the way, right, from the Irish Star newspaper online. According to CNN, the horrifying spree has resulted in at least four deaths and 30 injuries. In at le uh, however, it remains uncertain whether all injuries were caused by gunshots. Post-shooting, the Barra County Sheriff's Office announced that they have apprehended a suspect. Is this one of their kids or something like that? Is this one of the sheriff or, or cops kids? Because that's what's coming up. Like the parents are connected to somebody or some or something. This is why this boy and his issues have gone under the blasted radar for so long. This is what... I, I, oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Sheriff's Department confirmed that there were casualties but did not provide further details. So this boy commit this boy wanted to commit a massacre. If only four people died, I don't say only four people died, but he shot th he shot 30 plus people. He shot at least 34 people. At least 34 people were shot by one 14 year old boy. I don't even say, I, I was gonna say let that sink in. No, this is not something that we should let sink in at all. Not at all. The boy allegedly shot at 34 people. The first person that he shot was a young black 14 year old just like him 
autistic boy called Mason. I'm thinking that the shooter is white. Because arguably, if he was if it was a black shooter who had conducted this massacre, and it is a massacre. 30 people wounded and in hospital. That's a massacre. That's a mass incident. I hope this is not swept under somebody's rug. I hope there's I hope this is not covered up because the shooter is white. I hope that this is not the case. The Sheriff's Department got blah, 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 blah. Concerned parents were scouring social media for the latest information and support. A tormented Brittany Lewis shared on Facebook that active shooter and active shooters at my kid's school in the Appalachian High School. One has been reported shot. I don't know if it's a teacher or a student. So the parents were uninformed. They just received minuscule notification, insufficient notification of what was going on. Indeed, it seemed as if the school themselves didn't know what was going on. In a desperate appeal, she added, I'm, I'm on the school ground. Law enforcement is here. Please pray for us. They won't let me in to see my children. Please pray for us, please. Governor Brian Kemp swiftly declared an emergency, an emergency response involving all available state resources for the imperiled institution with federal agents from the FBI also joining the, the operation, I bloody say. Of course, Th this is a massacre. This isn't just one or two people being shot by a pissed off student. This is 34 plus people being shot in the school, as reported here in the newspapers. And the suspect is in custody with the police. They got hold of the little... So the reading that I did before, I want you to go and watch it because a King of Cups in reverse came up in that. And that's not the school shooter. That is somebody who heavily influenced this mentally disturbed boy. So we can talk about mental health we could talk about, oh, what made him do it and this type of thing, or was he being bullied, was there peer pressure, blah, blah, blah. How was he being bullied? He was hardly in school. The, the girl who sat there in the class, she already spilled the beans. She sat next to him in, in uh, algebra. She said, uh, he looks like he's a, he's a, she said he's a weirdo. And that if anybody says, uses the term school shooter, uh, that they're a quiet kid and they fit all of these, tick all these boxes, that he would be the one that tick all the boxes. That's what the girl said. She said when she heard that there was an active school shooter, she wasn't, and they said it was him, she wasn't surprised. So if you can have a very, very smart little young girl student at the school who notices all of this what say the flipping school administration and everybody else there now there's a more sinister question of who this king of cups is and i hope they let the fbi deal with this boy rather than the local sheriff and so on and so forth because there's some big energy here that suggests that he may they may go on him softly softly because of possibly who he is connected to etc
This is disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs>